Hi everyone, I hope you are all doing well. In today's lecture, we're going to be talking about plant science. So what is plant science? Really, plant science is the study of cultivated plants and their uses. Now, that word cultivated is really important because it's what sets plant science apart from other courses or subjects related to this. So, for example, we tend to think of botany as the study of plants, whereas plant science is more specific and it is the study of cultivated plants. So when I say cultivated or when I talk about cultivation, what I mean is the purposeful growing of plants. So really, plant science falls within agriculture, or the larger umbrella of agriculture, if you want to think about it, right? Because when I say agriculture, what I mean is the active cultivation of plants and raising of animals for food, fiber, and other products. Now, we can break agriculture down further, particularly into two kind of domains. We have agronomy, which is the study of soil management related to field-grown crops such as wheat, corn, and soybeans. So agronomy focuses on crops that are typically the staples of human diet, right? Wheat, corn, soybeans, and others. And these crops are often produced in large quantities, right? See that picture in the background? Think of that giant cornfield. That would be agronomy. Whereas horticulture is the cultivation of fruits, vegetables, and ornamentals. And typically with horticulture, we're dealing with crops that require more intense and constant care from planting all the way through delivery to the consumer. Right, so remember that, we know what agriculture is, remember the difference between agronomy and horticulture, know cultivation, know what plant science is. And guess what? That's your lecture for today. Right, super easy. This is just an introduction. I want you to know those basic terms to start. Now, I'm going to end here talking a little bit about non-human agriculture. Right, so this is something that I think maybe you might find interesting. We tend to think about agriculture as a human endeavor, right? This is something that humans have developed and we practice agriculture. But in reality, there are a number of other species that have developed a form of agriculture. For an example, we have the damselfish that you see right there. It lives at cor lives in coral reefs. What's cool about the damselfish is that it feeds off of algae. Now, that algae grows on those reefs, but it doesn't like all of the algae, right? There are certain species of algae that the damselfish likes to eat, so it manages and cultivates that algae, right? If any other algae starts moving in that it doesn't like, it'll bite it off and spit it out, and it maintains a nice algal food source for itself, right? It's a type of agriculture. We also have the yeti crab with those big furry claws. The yeti crab lives on the sea floor, and it actually farms for bacteria with its claws, right? It has its claws out near, like, thermal vents that catch bacteria. The bacteria grow in the claws, and the crab feeds off that bacteria as its primary food source, right? So it's actually growing food on its own body, another type of agriculture. We have the leafcutter ants, which are perhaps the most well-known version of non-human agriculture. Right, our leafcutter ants, they go into the tree canopies, they cut out sections of leaves, and they bring them down into their burrows, into these underground gardens that they cultivate. And what they are cultivating is a particular type of fungi. Right, this fungi only grows in association with these leafcutter ants. It's essentially, uh, you can think of it as domesticated, kind of, if that would apply for ants, if ants would domesticate a fungus. Um, Anyway, it's only found in association with these ants. These ants farm this fungus because they eat the fruiting bodies that the fungus produces, right? They feed it with the leaves, that's what feeds the fungus, and then they eat the fruiting bodies. They also, uh, they tend to the fungus they have, they can rub antibacterial, um, they have like antibacterial secretions that they rub on the fungus to protect it. So they're actively managing their food source. It's a type of agriculture. Along those same lines, we have ambrosia beetles, which also farm a fungus or cultivate a fungus. A uh, little trivia for you guys. Beetles are the most numerous species in the animal kingdom, right? There are more beetles than there are more anything else. 
So these ambrosia beetles, they carry this fungus with them and they will burrow into a tree trunk. And once they're in there, that fungus thing grows throughout the tree. It's able to access nutrients that the beetle couldn't otherwise access. And then it eats these globules that the fungus produces. Again, more agriculture. And lastly, we have our black garden ants that are partaking in animal husbandry, right? These guys um, farm aphids. So you guys may be familiar with aphids. They are little sap-sucking insects. Uh, they're often pests in gardens. They will, uh, they have a little proboscis that they will um, drill or poke into a leaf and suck out fluids. So these black garden ants, as these aphids suck out fluids, that fluid makes its way through their bodies, and then they secrete it uh, as like a sugary substance. And that is what these garden ants eat, right? So they're eating the aphid excrement, which is a sugary fluid. And that is the food source for our garden ants. Right, so they actively manage the aphids, they protect them from other predators, they clip off their wings so the aphids can't fly away, they also secrete a chemical that slows the aphids down, right, so they are managing these aphid populations uh, for their own use. They also will occasionally eat them when they are hungry. So just a couple examples of agriculture not related to the things that we do. Thought it'd be interesting for you guys. And that is your lesson for today, right? So remember the important things to remember from this is what is plant science? It is the study of cultivated plants. Cultivation is the purposeful growing of plants, right? What we do when we practice agriculture. Agriculture is that, that actual process of cultivation. Uh, and animal husbandry, like raising animals for food, fuel, fiber, etc. We can break down agriculture into agronomy, which is the study of soil management related to field-grown crops. And these are, are crops that are produced in large quantities. They are often related or staples of the human diet, such as corn, wheat, and soybeans. And then we also have horticulture, which is are growing of fruits, vegetables, and ornamentals. And horticulture often, uh, the species that we grow in horticulture often require a little bit more care throughout their lifespan. All right, that is it. You guys have a good day.